Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is your local friendly level 1 judge with another episode of Judge Call. This time around, we will be tackling the mechanics of the latest Magic the Gathering set, Murders at Karlov Manor. Disguise and Cloak Disguise is Disguise Cost. You may cast this card face down for 3 generic mana as a 2-2 creature with Ward 2. Turn it face up at any time for the disguise cost. When casting a face down spell, it has no mana cost and a mana value of 0. Put it on the stack face down and no other player knows the properties of the card. This counts as an alternate cost. The creature is a 2-2 with ward 2. It has no name, no mana cost, and no mana value or creature type. Other spells or abilities that affect creatures will still affect it the same way. Anytime you have priority, you may turn the face down creature face up by revealing its disguise cost and paying that cost. Turning a disguise or cloak creature face up is a special action. It does not use the stack and cannot be responded to. To cloak a card, place it into the battlefield face down. It is a 2-2 creature with Ward 2. It has no name, no mana cost, and no mana value or creature type. To cloak a card, place it into the battlefield face down. It has the same characteristics as a disguise creature as it is a 2-2 creature with Ward 2. It has no name, no mana cost, and no mana value or creature type. If by chance, the card that you have cloaked has a disguise or morph or mega morph cost, you have the option to pay that as well. You can only turn face up creature cards this way. Any non-creature card remains face down and cannot be turned face up, with the exception of Branch of Vito Gazi, using the disguise cost. Notes for disguise or cloak. Players should make sure that face down spells and permanents can be easily differentiated from each other. Disguise permanence and cloak permanence should be clearly noted. Any face down spell or permanent leaves the stack or goes to any other zone other than the battlefield, it is a must for players to reveal them. Turning face down creatures face up will not remove any auras, counters, or equipment. Collect evidence. To collect evidence N is to exile cards with a total mana value of N or greater from your graveyard. If a player does not have enough cards to meet the mana value requirement, you cannot choose to collect evidence. During casting of a spell or activating or triggering an ability where collecting evidence is concerned, players cannot take actions until you have finished doing so. Players cannot attempt to remove cards in your graveyard to stop you from collecting evidence. Cases. Cases are a new type of enchantment card. I will give the general description of what a case is, then I will simplify it on the next slide. Case cards have two special keyword abilities that appear before a long dash and represent a triggered ability and an ability that may be static, triggered, or activated. To solve condition means at the beginning of your end step, if condition is met, and this case is not solved, this case becomes solved. If a case has the solve designation, it would mean that the case will gain an ability that may affect the game if it's a static ability, it may trigger if it's a triggered ability, and it can be activated if it's an activated ability. Now those are the general description of what a case is. I will now describe what it is simplified in the next slide. We will look at the case of the trampled garden for this example when you cast the case of a trampled garden and it resolves when it enters the battlefield it will have a triggered ability this is not the case with some cases as some have static abilities when we move to the next box here this is called the solve condition the solve condition will trigger during the end step it will function like an intervening if clause it will look at the game state if the condition has been met so it will be put on the stack and it will check again once it resolves if the condition is still being met so it will check two times when it's put on the stack 
and when it resolves. The solve condition will not be placed on the stack if, to begin with, condition is not met. So for example here, creatures you control have total power 8 or greater. The beginning of your end step, case of Temple Garden will move to trigger if you have 8 total power on the board. If you don't have 8 to begin with, it will not be placed on the stack. Then, it will try to resolve giving your opponents priority and if they do something to disrupt the condition and when it tries to resolve and, it's, and you do not have 8 power, it will not resolve and it will not be solved. So... Again, the solve condition should satisfy when it's put on the stack at the beginning of your end step and when it resolves. And lastly, the solved ability. The solved ability can either be a triggered, static, or activated ability. There are three, ty three kinds of abilities that can be put here in the last box. Like I said, it could be triggered, it could be static, and it could be an activated ability. Suspected is a designation a permanent can have. Only permanents can have the suspected designation. Suspected is neither an ability nor part of the permanent copyable values. A suspected permanent has menace and this creature can't block for as long as it's suspected. The creature stays suspected until it leaves the battlefield or an effect stops it from being suspected. If a suspected creature will lose all its abilities, it will lose the menace and this creature can't block abilities, but it will not lose the designation of being suspected. If a face down creature is suspected, it will still be considered suspected when you turn it face up. Being suspected is not a copyable value. Investigate Investigate means create a clue token. A clue token is a colorless clue artifact token with 2 mana. Sacrifice this artifact to draw a card. Wither. Wither is a static ability and damage dealt to a creature by a source with wither isn't marked on the creature. Rather, it causes that source's controller to put that many minus 1 minus 1 counters on that creature. So those were the mechanics of the latest Magic the Gathering set murders at Karlov Manor. We do hope that this video was of some help to you. Please let us know if you have any other rules, interaction questions, or judge questions, and you can leave them in the comment section below or give us a PM and we'll be glad to help you out. This has been your local friendly level 1 judge, Carlo G, with another episode of Judge Call. Catch us again in the next episode where we venture the wild wild west in Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Thank you so much guys and have a nice day. Bye!